He's going to probably go around you or work back inside. He works back inside, but watch the guard not realize until too late. You know, if you're going to help. Not even a move. This is every once in a while. Chris Jones will do something that you go Aaron Donald or whoever you want to talk about. You just can't win any faster than what Chris Jones. But Aaron Donald has other plans for this play. He gets it in the backfield immediately, forces Joe. Well, the fake is going to be to Connor, and Watt doesn't fall for the fake. He runs right by Connor and is able to get Kyler Murray from me. Running clock, well explained, but here's Aaron Donald breaking through. He's getting double teamed and then a... <laughs> and I got to be out here on an island against Parsons in a two-minute offense. It, it tight end chip. Watch Aaron Donald, number 99. He just doesn't quit. I mean, he gets double teamed all the time. It's still... Watch this guy. He's an absolute stud. 99 just rips right through a potential. They didn't try and one of those like shallow crossers with blockers in front or something. Something to get the ball out of his hands quickly to avoid a negative play. On the left tackle, Jordan Maialata. This time he's at the top of your screen back against Lane Johnson. We've seen Lane Johnson kind of have his way. But this time, even though Lane Johnson's kick out, he comes down on 90 Lawrence. And just a miscue, miscommunication by the offensive line. At the He's been something else, hasn't he? Rashawn Gary on the outside, three sacks in that game on Thanksgiving, and he is just relentless. Misses the first time, stays with it, comes back, gets a piece of it along with Kenny Clark. He just doesn't give up on the play. They're going to they're gonna twist and move. Whatever they can do to try to create some matchup advantages, he comes free. Looks like he's cleared, but then that's the effort right there. That really talked about that gave him some problems last week. Instead, of, he didn't redirect the Badger. He's lined up there, and there's the quickness. I mean, these defensive linemen. As soon as you bring in the backup tackle, you bring in your number one draft pick and cut him loose. Van Ness this time got the hands off and was able to run down. It really did Preston Smith with a good rush right off the bat, but he was stymied in the beginning. Had to sort of give it a second go and just couldn't. It's so impressive because Mac just, he's able to, to put pressure. But really what I liked was the inside pursuit. You know, Mac is able to flush him. But Let's see Miles Garrett on this rush here. Oh, their helmets got caught. Watch him work outside and then the bend. Watch the bend there to be able to get him around. The tackle there across, just so sudden and quick with the balance and then the closing speed. Watch him. He's down here. Watch watch how you get two, and then the center comes over, and now 92 to the middle. You have Lawrence, who's one-on-one. -on -one. 92 gets one-on-one, -on -one, and it forces. Having himself a heck of a season. He's coming off this edge. And look, McDermott almost looks inside as if, he doesn't expect Khalil Mack to blitz. He initially took his set, then went inside. This is just tied together as a defense. You see it right there? Everybody. 37. What well, looks on coming away from center, you can see Murray gets stepped on. And instead of going down with the football, he tries flipping it up to Connor. Froholt steps on his foot. Connor doesn't get the ball. Going up against Panay Sewell. And, and watch the bend. Watch how low he gets. Smaller guy on the outside. Look at that little dip right there. And then right to Jared Goff. He's right inside here. Watch this swim move that he puts on Batonio. And in the backfield, I mean, swimming like Michael Phelps. Comes Anderson up here, but Rankins on the inside gets pushed as well. Number 98. Last week it's Miles Garrett in Cleveland. It's been the opposite today. Jonathan Grenard. Watch him as he gets to the depth of the quarterback right here. Bam, he feels it, spins right back inside, understanding that Howell's going to step up in the pocket. So as soon as he gets to that depth, now spin. Get back in there, know that that quarterback is... During the season, just because of his pass rush ability, you know, 55 sack, sacks through his career around the edge. Trevor Lawrence, they do a good job in coverage. He doesn't like it in the secondary, but as soon as, rather than watch Quentin Williams as he penetrates, they had no chance. Look at how quickly he gets in the backfield. He blows it up. Austin Davis, Ashton Davis, excuse me, he blows it up as well. He's pushing back Parker Hesse. That was domination by that defensive front. And then Ashton Davis cleaning that up. Great job. Keeps the clock moving here, which is a positive.
But man, you have really changed this field goal. Bring pressure to get home. Abacon here just comes underneath, pushes back Jalen Duncan. Dan on the inside, it's going to be on the outside. Omenahu, who I think got the initial pressure, Dan had just kept working and kept working and eventually got to him. Wrestler, tremendous athlete. Think about this, 280 pounds, so he's undersized. Well, Turner is just going to make his move inside and then bounce all the way around and just hustle for that one, Joe Flacco. you got to think as an offensive line that the ball's coming out quick, and initially they went off everything and disrupted the back and his vision. But those are the things that you have to deal with. You know, once again, signing a guy. Burns comes. Watch this just kind of come in here. Just a little game, a little TN stunt, coming in clean. It was just, he just, you know, they're trying to beat him with Allen on the crack back block, but he. That's called game wrecker. And sometimes I think we overuse it. But in this situation, number 51, Will Anderson, has been doing that from the first snap of this game. Right there by Van Ginkle. Watch him just come off of that. He could feel Wiley going to release down the football field to go get a block. And he says, hey, man. A little extra there at the end by the rookie, Paris Johnson Jr. and T.J. Watt as the play continues. He told us this week, make Purdy go through his progression. Make him hold that ball one count longer. You'll see he went pump there to Debo. Cloudy picture. Leading sack man for the Atlanta Falcons. Tyler Conklin, who tries to help out. Edges, that's a formidable combination there. You see TJ coming off the backside and Hightower just right around. The passing game for San Francisco, and as a result, he's holding the ball. But this is great effort. I mean, excellent pass rush. And just to get a hand on that football to get it out, I don't know if that's a fumble. Yeah, that's an interesting one to take a look at. He has to change what happens. Just watch the way the defense is going to step up, set the edge. Jermaine Johnson is not going to let the constant pressure that he's going to bring. Bud Dupree's coming from the left side, rolls him out, and then Trevor Simeon, you just knew that was going to be all bad. The way he was holding on to the football. The penetration by Harold Landry, it's almost too easy. Neither one of these edges were blocked to be able to rush the passer. We've heard multiple na names today. They've played really well this season. Owenu really has only given up one sack all year, only two pressures in the last three games. Yeah, here they are off the edge right here. You see hand create that edge. You see everybody. Look at that. Just forcing long up there, forcing the edge. They're good in the pass game. They're excellent in the run game. And Jeffrey Simmons passes that off, gets the assist. Just make contact with Josh Kelly. Mm. Yeah, it was Jones low and then Bentley high. He just easily gets around Trent, uh, Trent Brown here on, on the left edge. It looks like Brown is really having a tough time getting back in his set. And this time it's Williams hitting the backside swim. Just how he's able to beat. As the pocket is not just collapsing around him, but players are coming from everywhere. And it's the guy you don't see that gets you. Exactly. It's always the guy that you don't see that gets you in the pocket in those situations. You try and keep that thing into your chest. You see his left hand come off the football, too. Two hands in the pocket on that ball is critical in those situations. A little inside game here. They're just running these inside games, making sure they create some opportunities for those guys inside. You see Sealer coming off. Watch him work in the inside because he just stands up. Number 63, Michael Dieter, the center. Watch Sealer right down here. He's just bear crawling. He's getting in there, creating a new line of scrimmage. Now they're playing well with two sacks. Getting a one-on-one -on, -one on Wiley right here. And as soon as he gets up, again, inside, you remember Van Ginkle. He's been playing well. He's going to stunt to the inside. The line is moving to the left, and then he's just going to stunt to the inside, and he just comes away unblocked. Well, you felt it, and he's going to come right here. So you're looking for this block coming down here. Can I defeat the block of the wide receiver? That's Craycraft. He does it. Gets up underneath. You see Highsmith will come off the edge. Connor looks to his left and then goes out to the right to double-team T.J. Watt. To this defense, the... They went out, got some good guys. Jesse Bates, we've talked about a lot, but Bud Dupree, look at the aggression. that Now all of a sudden you're 
allowing these defensive ends, these defensive linemen to pin their ears back and get pressure on Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter, he felt that, that they're getting penetration on this offensive line. The offensive line is known for their zone scheme, outside zone, and if you don't penetrate and get in the back. Nice call there by, by Clint Hurt, the defensive coordinator. Correction, Seattle has elected to decline that penalty. Yeah, I was just going to say. Take over the play, which is third down on the 10-yard line. Right, I mean, no need to take point, that. Right. And we talked about Witherspoon, the rookie, and how versatile he can be in coverage. He can play man, and he can blitz. It's really an assist to the coverage downfield. And the field goal unit comes in. Yeah, and, and Steele works outside, which forces the back Pollard to be able to pick up this, this potential blitz right there. You see, Steele's kind of waiting and waiting. I don't know if that's a mix up. Lorenzo Carter, he's going to be working on Makai, excuse me, Makai Beckham. Runs right around him. They overload the box. You see the single high safety. You see that a lot. And Mike Caldwell, his philosophy is we are going to make a team one dimensional. Now, Cincinnati, like I said, they have had some. Connor, second and ten. Well, had a re free release by Connor out on the swing route, and, and had he been able to get that out there, if Watt 